I'm going to show you guys what's inside my sack. What's up everybody, my name is Blake and welcome to Everything Except Nothing. Today we're going to be talking about my primary camping bag. Just to clarify a couple things, this is a backpack that I use full time for all my gear. I take it whether I'm going winter camping or summer camping. Um, pretty much all the same gear stays in, in it. And I have an identical backpack set up almost exactly the same that I use for my bug out bag. And so what I like to do is if I try out new gear, I take it with me in my camping bag. And then if I like it, then I go ahead and cycle a either new version of that product or that actual product and replace it in my camping bag. So I basically have two of everything. So this bag is set up twice. Now there are a couple things extra in my bug out bag that I have. Um, I cycle clothing in and out of there depending on seasons. Um, I, I do that with this bag as well, but um, you know, my son's eight, so he's growing. So I, I have to make sure that I keep the uh, appropriate clothes in that bag, um, which I don't typically keep a full set of clothes for me my wife and my son in this bag because they carry their own bags when they go camping. But as far as all the rest of the gear, um, that's, it's a redundancy. I have this in both my camping bag and my bug out bag. So let's get right into it. Um, this is my camping bag. Once again, this is set up for three people. Um, my son was pretty young when I built this bag. Uh, I haven't really set him up with his own bag yet. And then I just carry everything for me, my wife and my son. And then they bring the extra things that they want while they're camping. So another thing I'd like to preface is that we are not hikers. We don't go backpacking. We don't, uh, you know, we're, we don't hike in to go camping. We're pretty much car campers exclusively. Uh, you could say what you want about that, but uh, that's what we enjoy to do. And that's what my gear is set up for. So if you're looking for a hiking style uh, loadout, then this isn't the video for you. But those of you who are looking for the car camping video, this is, this is what you want to look for. So getting right into the top of my bag, it's all the quick access items, stuff that I use all the time, which is, um, I have a more knife for me and my wife in here. Um, we use this knife uh, a lot, actually. I use it while I'm cooking. I use it while I'm uh, um, getting uh, feather sticks ready or tinder, whatever I need to do to get a fire going. I, this knife stays on my side full time, but I keep it in the top bag here in case I need it um, and I know where to get it. So uh, yeah, and all the, all the products I'll link to in the description section below if you wanted to check them out. Um, helps out my page if you guys go and get these through my page. So please do that. Okay, um, there's also a pair of leather gloves I use to either manage the fire or if, in case I need it when I'm using my chainsaw. Um, fireproof matches. I always keep um, this thing as loaded out as I can, as well as extra strikers. I go through strikers quite often. I don't know why, but I always keep extra strikers in there. Uh, multiple headlamps. Um, there's three of them for all of us in here. And then a multi-tool. So I had bought this cheap multi-tool at Army Surplus. Um, by the way, I bought the bag at Army Surplus as well. Um, but this multi-tool, I like it. It's springy, so um, it's used, I, I don't know, I just like it. Um, it's got a lot of tools on there, you know, pretty standard for a multi-tool. But I have this in here in case I'm away and I have my skelly tool on me, then my wife still has a multi-tool that stays in the bag to open cans or whatever we need to do. So that's everything on the top of the bag. Now in the front of the bag, I have my cook set. So um, I have a bio stove, a bio light that I, I take camping with me, but um, I always keep this cook set just in case. Uh, the bio light is, is a great uh, fire tool. However, it, it takes a while to set up. So my wife likes to use this in the morning when she's making coffee because it's quick, easy, and she knows how to use it. So um, in the front pouch, I just, we have our uh, spork spoon knife setups here. And then I have three of those. And then there's a titanium spork on the side as well. I use this for when we're using dehydrated meals to eat right out of the bag when we're making the dehydrated meals. Um, there's an extra set of stormproof matches in here. I never have too many of those. And then here's the little um, 
camping stove. One of my friends got this for me. I think it was like five bucks. It's a Chinese version, very similar to a, um, oh, I can't think of it now, but it's just a little, uh, little stove. So um, folds out real nice into this little case. And then in the top of my pouch here, I keep a MSR gas container. And then this just threads right onto the top. And then I have a um, little uh, stove for boiling water. So like I said, my wife uses this for coffee in the morning. And then I just have this uh, Stanley little cup set. So it just folds out, it's got a little handle, and then two cups in there. So this is what we use for water and it also has all our utensils. So I try to keep all of the, the food and water setups real close together. So that's the stuff that we use frequently. Um, getting into the rest of the bag, I have these two side pouches here. Um, right now I've kind of done a reconfigure on my bag, so I don't really use them that much. In this one I have a uh, extra mag as well as the light for my uh, BioLite. And then on the other side is just a couple extra cups, um, you know, insulated cup, actually just one, um, you know, for coffee. Okay, so getting into the primary bag section, I have it broken up into necessity and emergency. So in the bottom will be all my emergency stuff. That way it's tucked down there. I'm not pulling it out. I know it's not going to be lost. And then in the top is all the stuff that we might need more frequently. So in the top, I have uh, rain jackets. This stuff gets switched out in the, sun, in the winter for uh, winter gear, but those are the rain jackets for the summer. I have this, uh, I, I believe it's a D-cell um, LED flashlight or not flashlight, but like tent light, um, have this little, uh, night light and then, uh, two power modes and then it flips out. Um, pretty cool. I've had this thing for a really long time. It's heavy. It's bulky. Like I said, car camping, it's not that big of a deal. If I were to hike in, I'd probably pick something a little lighter, but this thing is a beast. Uh, I've changed, I've had it, I think seven, six, maybe six years and I've only changed the batteries once. So things pretty durable. Um, okay. So I ha also have a little med kit. Um, you can never have too many of these. I have medical kits everywhere. I have a few in my truck. One stays with the ATV. Um, one's in this bag. I have one in my work backpack. Um, I just, I have medical kits everywhere. You never know when you get into a situation where you might need them. Uh, we had a issue couple years ago during a bachelor party camping trip and one of my friends cut his finger and I realized that we didn't have, uh, we had med kits, but we didn't have the appropriate things that he needed. And he ended up having to leave the trip for a while, go to uh, urgent care, get some stitches and then come back. So um, I've kind of amped up the, the medical gear a little bit just in case that situation happens again. It was probably better that he went to ER cause he got it cleaned and everything, but we weren't real far in camping so it wasn't that big of a deal so the next thing i have jammed in here actually i'll get back to this but i have a down here i have a sog shovel just a foldable shovel um little one putting out fires that's pretty much what i use it mostly for and then uh if you need to go to the restroom you can bury your human waste make sure that you're not leaving a trail behind and then let's see. Okay. Um, I keep these full time just cause I don't have any better place to put them. They're not that heavy, but these are my winter, um, winter gloves. They have a magnetic flip over for the uh, mitten style. Got these at Cabela's and then I have a pair in here, I believe for my son as well. Yep. Uh, I have a buff that I keep in here in case I need to, cover my face up a little more and then down at the bottom I have a uh, toilet paper some Ziploc bags a larger Ziploc bag and I usually carry some trash bags in here as well so that way we can manage our our food and 
things of that nature. Okay, so that's everything that's in the bag. And now I have, I guess what you'd call the emergency kit portion. Um, I jammed a bunch of stuff in here so that way I could know where it's at. Okay, so getting into the top pouch, I have a life straw with a ton of paracord on it um, in case you need to filter water. And then I have three bandanas, also good for water filtration, um, protecting from the sun as well. Um, just a lot of great uses for bandanas. Um, we also have bandanas in our other kits, so these are just the backup emergency ones. I have a, a pair of gloves here, um, some nitrile gloves, um, some quick clot, got some quick clot in here. And then in case something happens and I, we end up getting into a situation where we have to leave the, the camp and we're out in the middle of nowhere, I also have um, a tarp in here as well as a tube tent. So I know, like I said, since we're car camping, it's not that big of a deal, but this is also the equipment I carry in my bug out bag. So there's just these backup uh, improvised uh, shelter setups in here. So that's it for the main pouch. Now into the front, I have another clean set of leathers. And then I have a paracord bracelet uh, um, some electrical tape and just a bunch of different little shackles and carabiners here. And that's it for the front. This back pouch here is my folding saw. So I have this uh, SOG folding saw in case I need to cut down a small branch or something. I have this here. Um, haven't used it yet. It's new to my rotation. And then on the side pouches, I have some Gorilla Tape. Can never have too much of that. And a bunch of hand warmers, different varieties. I have the toe, the hand, the pan, the, uh, the large ones. Sometimes we throw in our, in our gear, uh, in our sleeping bags. Um, just a cheap Smith & Wesson folder. Um, water purification tabs, uh, magnesium fire steel. Um, I actually have the Swedish version of this in my bug out bag. Um, I've been using this cheapo one. It seems to work just fine. And then I have this cable saw. Now this thing's cool. It is a lot of work, um, but this is a um, cable saw. I have tried it out. Um, when we first started camping, I was making a lot of cuts with this. So uh, I know it works, but it is a pain in the butt. So if you can avoid it, avoid it. And then in the other side, I have three sets of thermal blankets, various brands, as well as three sets of ponchos. And that's it. That's what's in my primary bag. Now, with this, there are other things that I carry uh, that I take with me camping. I have a spreadsheet, actually, that basically goes over all the items in this bag that I use to cross-check to make sure that I have everything before we leave, as well as on that spreadsheet, it has everything else that I want to take, and I have it broken down into basically my summer set, and then there's a subsection for winter camping, so I make sure that I get all of the items that I need for winter camping. Um, sometimes... You know, when it's mid-season, I'll bring a couple extra um, things for my winter set to keep everybody comfortable while we're camping. But typically, I just use the spreadsheet, go down the list. I got my chainsaw, um, fuel, uh, the little heater, make sure I have the appropriate tent because we have different tents that we use for different seasons. And then make sure I have the appropriate sleeping bags for this scenario. So I use that as well. And there's also, I did a previous video on this kit here. Um, this goes with me everywhere, literally. I have it with me um, all the time. So it's with me at work in the in my everyday work backpack, as well as when I'm going camping, I make the transition and bring this kit as well. Same with this kit, um, but this is a little bit bigger. It has a couple different items in it. It's basically a redundant system of this kit. 
um, but it has a couple larger things in here, things that couldn't fit in the micro kit. It's got a couple uh, snap stick glow sticks and oh, I might as well open it up. Um, a couple larger flashlights, a larger multi-tool and uh, yeah. So that's my camping backpack. Um, if you guys have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comment section below. I'd love to hear your guys' ideas on what you carry full-time. Um, let me know if there's something that you think that I should be carrying full-time. And if you guys like the video, please click like. And I would love to hit the subscriber limit that they've, YouTube has now set. So if you would do me a solid and subscribe, that would help me out a lot. And I will catch you guys on the next one. Thanks.